rounds and ground folks what we have here is an AC maintenance we already did some work on that boiler I believe we put in an expansion tank and a relief valve and even years prior this had to be like at least five years ago we put in a brand new ECM motor and I think we had to flush the P-trap out too, but that was a long time ago. But I'm checking my supply temperatures here. Let me see what I got. Cool. Our splits are within range. And I put a new filter inside as well a 16 by 25 and guys I want to show you the outside unit because I think I had to do something pretty heroic and I want to show you guys this might be the house I'm not sure but I'm going to show you what I did outside a couple years ago on this no AC call here but I know inside she got her motor done and we had to flush the drains but I'm going to show you guys something when I get outside I'll see you in a little bit let me pack up guys I'm at the outside unit and I feel like Nigel from the Wild Thornberries. I'm not sure if you guys are old enough to remember the Wild Thornberries. <laughs> Shout out to y'all that do. But yeah, guys, I had to cut down a bunch of twigs to get to this unit. But it is what it is. But guys, this is the unit that I was talking about here. Um, just to give you guys some context. Not last year. This had to be been like two years ago. Um, this customer was, I think she was away either for work or vacation, one or the other. She wasn't here, but I think a house sitter was here. And guys, I had a low voltage uh, fuse open inside of the air handler. And by the way, guys, this is a straight AC system. Um, they have a gas boiler here with baseboards and radiators for the heat. But um, as far as the AC, the, the air handler inside that I showed you don't have electric heat. But guys, uh, two years ago, was, I came out here for a no AC and the fuse inside kept opening and i looked at all my wires my wires are okay and the issue was guys the contactor coil out here was shorted so the customer needed a new contactor but no one knew where the breaker was to turn his unit off and i didn't show you guys this inside but nothing's labeled and i couldn't find where the breaker was <laughs> for this unit now guys remember we all we all did some things in our i'm talking as, as hvac techs we all did some things in our in our earlier days that was downright stupid but guys what i did was i actually replaced this contactor hot what that means guys is unfortunately like i said the person i was here she didn't understand where anything was and guys it was hot as hell that day and i had a bunch of calls so i put on my gloves and i actually and like i said this isn't a smart decision now looking back on it like you said thank god nothing happened to me but i just took my l1 and l2 off and i literally replaced this contactor with 240 already going to it so Will I do that again? Hell no, guys. Like I said now, yeah, like I said, I'll just take some, take more time to just try. If worst case scenario, if I got to turn every breaker off in the house, then so be it. But like I said, if nothing's labeled, guys, that's not our problem. Like I said, the point is, you got to be able to work on equipment safely. So I definitely want to recommend, like I said, you guys replacing these contactors with 240 going to it, trace power back. And like I said, if nothing's labeled, you can definitely let the customer know that, hey, ma'am or sir, Nothing's labeled. I may have to turn a main breaker off to the house. Do what you got to do, but make sure that, like I say, you don't have any power at the at the contact when you replace it. You definitely don't want to get hurt. But yeah, guys. But like I said once again, I'm just sorry for the maintenance. I'm just yapping with y'all. And like I said, this unit is, is still rocking and rolling. And like I said, you remember I was telling you guys before, as far as with some customers calling us later on in the year. Like I said, this customer is rarely home. Um, she does like to have an annual maintenance agreement with us, but sometimes trying to get everybody scheduled For instance with the AC like around April or May sometimes that's gonna be difficult because Some people have like say alternating schedules and we try our best to work with people So like I said with this customer we have no issues coming out here now You know or even in August to do an AC maintenance because like I said, you know, she paid for it So we're definitely obligated to, to you know to hold up our end of the bargain with, with getting the maintenance done. But like I said, it works out in our favor. Like I said, maintenance is a maintenance. 
I'm not doing anything drastic here. I'm not, you know, replacing the compressor or doing all, no. a maintenance means, like I said, the system should be already working. We just got to do this a little bit later on in the year. So like I said, we should be good to go here. And I believe one of my guys uh, replaced this cap here with a, t a large turbo. And I don't know how long, like I said, I don't look at the records like that unless something's wrong. Um, if I'm coming out for a no AC call, but like I said, this customer got a bunch of work done with us. Remember, like I said, I, the only thing I remember was I remember replacing this contactor out here, and I remember, of course, the boiler inside. I did the expansion tank, I did the uh, relief valve, um, and I think I did the ECM motor um, inside the air handler. But yeah, guys, this customer got a bunch of work done from us, and like I said, this is one of our good customers. And of course, this is Philly, guys. Some Philly units, they don't have a disconnect. And like I said, you know, I don't know, I'm not even sure what the original concept was. I mean, this isn't a new unit, but this isn't like ancient. So I don't know, maybe the older unit, maybe they remodel and put this here, I don't know. But for sure, like I said, a disconnect. We can definitely slap one here and then bada beam. So in the future, it wouldn't be a bad idea just to put a disconnect on. But yeah, guys, for servicing this unit, like I said, you know, do what you got to do make sure like said power is off but like I, said, I just i was into some cowboy shit that day that's for sure <laughs> and like i said i was able to I, you know i got lucky like I said i didn't get hurt or anything like that i had gloves on and i carefully you know did one wire at a time but like i said guys yeah that was just I, it's crazy i'm seeing all these units now guys i can i have stories for days that i can bring up you know crazy shit things that worked out and things that didn't work out but I'm definitely grateful that I, I, I survived long enough and I can come back and tell you guys, like I said, the crazy things I did here and that other 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 jobs. So, but guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, my, my splits inside are already on. I think I had a 58 degree supply. I already know I had a 20 degree split inside. So I'm not gonna put my gauges on. I think one of the caps are missing on this unit. I'm gonna go to the truck and get it, put a cap on that high side. And yeah, guys, the holes, also, I wanted to hose down this condenser coil, but the hose is actually on the other side of the, I don't know why they put this condenser unit on this side of the house. On the other side of the, of the she actually has another backyard on the other side of the house. They should have actually moved this unit over, but that would have made it easier to have all the hose connections and the unit on the same side of the house. But it is what it is, guys. But yeah, I'm gonna rock out. Um, everything's rocking and rolling here. I just gotta put a cap on this on that high side port and I'm, I might just check the amps on the compressor and the outdoor fan but everything's copacetic i'm gonna rock out peace out i'll see you guys in the next one